Help you here with your popcorn because you are going to take this step by step and get to the solution. We are asked to solve this if this report of x plus this power of x is equal to 62. Well, when I saw this question, the first thing that came to my mind is difference of two squares. So we are going to start from there. Now, what is difference of two squares talking about? Notice that this and this are the same, except that this is plus and this is minus. Okay, and uh, in difference of two squared, this is what you have. Difference of two squared states that a squared minus b squared, okay, is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So, in that sense, in that sense, we can actually say that if we bring this and this together, we can equate them in this form, right? So, let's go ahead and do that. That is the first thing we need to do. So, first thing first. That means that if we say 4 plus root 15, 4 plus root 15 times 4 minus root 15, that we can say that this is equal to, it's going to be 4 squared minus, our b is root 15, right? Root 15 squared. Okay, now we continue. So this can be written as 4 plus root 15, into 4 minus root 15 is equal to now 4 squared will give us what 16 16 minus root 15 squared is going to give us what 15 yeah root 15 squared is 15 because this is the proof here that root 15 times root 15 can be written as what square root of 15 times 15 right so this sentence has square root of 2 to 5, which is equal to 15, all right? So root 15 squared will give you what? 15. All right, let's write on. That means we can write that 4 plus root 15 into 4 minus root 15 is equal to 1, okay? All right, that means that if I can, uh, that means that this 4 roots, 4 minus root 15. If I should make 4 minus root 15 the subject of the formula, I can say that it is equal to 1 over 4 plus root 15. Okay, this is a very important word. It's a very important equation, and we are going to name it equation 1. And because my board is small, I'm going to note it somewhere that 4 minus root 15 is equal to 1 over 4 plus root 15. Okay. Now we continue. So since we say that 4 minus root 15 is equal to this, we are going to substitute this into our equation. Alright? So let's go ahead and substitute this into our equation. That means anyway I see 4 minus root 15, I'm going to replace it with 1 over 4 plus root 15, right? Now the question, now that means we can write 4 plus root 15 raised to the power of x plus, now instead of me to write this, I'll write 1 over 4 plus root what? 15. But because it carries x, I also put x here. Alright? Is equal to 62. Okay. What do we do next? We have 4 plus root 15 and 4 plus root. See, when you have something like this, to make the particular equation simple, you can decide to call this anything. Call 4 plus root 15 anything. So let's call 4 plus root 15 d let's call it d so we said let d equals 4 plus what root 15 to the power of x since they have it in common okay that means anywhere i see this i'm going to substitute what d for it so that means this can be written as d plus 1 over d is equal to 62. okay so what do we do next we need to get a linear equation and to do that we are going to multiply each term by what? This d. So let's multiply through by d. So we are going to have d times d plus 1 over d times d, right? Is equal to 62 times d. Okay, now d times d will give us d squared, okay? Plus this, we cancel this, we have only 1, is equal to 62d. Now notice that we have... A quadratic equation here okay so let's bring this to the to the other side of the equation and then get a quadratic equation 
So that means you are going to have this squared. This 62D will cross over to become minus 62D plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, if you look at this quadratic equation, you cannot solve it using factorization method. So what do we do? We are going to use quadratic equation formula and solve it all. So this, some students call it the almighty formula. So let's use the almighty formula and solve this. So what does the almighty formula say? The almighty formula states that, like this RD now, that it is equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Okay, don't worry, I'm going to explain. Now, in this particular case now, when you have a quadratic equation, your A is the coefficient of your D squared. Your A is the coefficient of your D squared. Your B is the coefficient of D. And your C is your constant. In this channel, I have a video where I treated this particular topic only. The thumbnail says um, the almighty formula. So you can reach out to it to know this well, like to have this particular knowledge in details. But for now, this is what we are going to use to get this. So what do we do? That means our D is equal to minus bracket. Our B is minus 62, right? Minus 62 minus 62 plus or minus square root of our b is minus 62 all squared minus 4 times our a is 1 remember i said a is what coefficient of d squared right times 1 times our c is our constant which is 1 okay everything divided by 2 times our a is what 1 okay we continue our D is equal to minus minus will give us plus. So we have 62 here. Okay. Plus or minus square root of minus 62 squared is going to give us um, 62 squared. We give us 3,844. So 3,844 minus 4 times 1 times 1 will still give us 4. Everything divided by 2 times 1 is what? 2. Okay, so we continue. That means that our D is equal to 62 plus or minus square root of, now 3,844 minus 4 will give us 3,840, right? Divided by 2. Okay, in case if you forgot, in case if you forgot, remember that in that question, this is what we kept having. 4 plus root 15 and 4 minus root 15. So I want to make it possible for me to have root 15 here. Okay? I want to have root 15 here because everything I'm doing, I'm trying to make sure that everything is in this form. Alright? Okay. So how do I bring 15 here? So let's say 3840 divided by 15. Let's see what it's going to give us. We are going to have 256. So that means that 15 times 256 will still give us what? 3840. So we can now rewrite this as D is equal to 62 plus or minus square root of what? 15 times 256. Everything divided by 2. Okay? Alright, I'm going to wipe this side of the board. But before I do that, I need this. This particular equation, let's call it 2, is important to me. So let me write it somewhere that my D is equal to 4 plus root 15, everything to the power of X. Okay, so I can now wipe this board. All right, it's becoming more interesting. <laughs> yes, it's becoming more interesting. So what do we do to this now? Our D is equal to 62 Plus or minus. Now, we know that root 256 is something, right? Yeah. Root 256 We give us 16. That means this is same thing as 16 root 15. 16 root 15. Okay. All right. Divided by 2. That means we can write D as <laughs> 62 divided by 2 will give us 31. Plus or minus 16 divided by 2 will give us 8 root 15. That means we have two values of our D, right? Yeah, we have two values of our D. The first value is that D is equal to 31 plus 8 root 15. That is if we take plus. And our D is also equal to 
31 minus 8 root 15. Now we are going to start solving these two case by case. Case by case, okay? All right, case one. Case one says that our D is equal to 31 plus 8 root 15. At this point, you just have to be, just have to think fast, okay? Whatever you are going to do this time around, you have to think fast. Now, we said D is equal to 31 plus 8 root 15. Now, remember the equation I asked you to write down, where we said that D is equal to 4 plus root 15 raised to the power of X. Now, if D is equal to this and D is also equal to this, that means we can write that this is equal to this, right? So, that implies that 31 plus 8 root 15 is equal to 4 plus root 15 to the power of x okay now we have to you know that in indices the best thing you can do for yourself is if you are able to put whatever you have uh, at the two sides of an equation to be on the same base once we are able to put these two on the same base we are going to equate their powers and the results will come out so all we need to do is how do we make this to look like this is there any way we can make this look like this? We have root 15 here already. How do we get 4 here? Alright, how? Now, notice that 31. We can write 31 as 16 plus 15, right? Yeah. So, we can write this as 16 plus 15 plus... And we can write this 8 as 2 times 4, right? 2.4 root 15 is equal to what we have here. 4 plus root 15 to the power of x okay let's continue from this side of the board let's continue let's continue all right now we need this 16 to be like 4 and the only way it can be like 4 is if we call this 16 4 squared right so we can say 4 squared now plus now this 15 I want to put it in square roots like this one. Let it be in square roots like every other one. But I just, I don't just, I cannot just put it in square roots. But see what I'm going to do. This is square root of 15. Now, if I square it, I've not changed anything. Because if we say root 15 raised to the power of 2, this square can cancel this word, this square root, and we still have 15 left. That means that we have not changed anything here. And we have also succeeded in putting this 15 in root, under the root sign. Okay, plus what? Plus 2 times 4 root 15 is equal to 4 plus root 15 raised to the power of x. Okay, this is looking like something that is very common. Yes, because a plus b all squared you know that if you want to expand this bracket that is going to be a squared plus b squared plus two times a b right now this in particular this side of this equation looks exactly like this whereby our a is four our b is what root root 15 plus what two times our a which is four times our b which is root 15. That means we can rewrite this, this particular sign as what? a plus b raised to the power of 2, where our a is 4 and our b is root 15. Okay? So now let's write it that way. That means we can rewrite this as 4 plus what? Root 15 raised to the power of 2. Okay, everything here now is equal to 4 plus root 15 raised to the power of x. Finally, we have done what we have been planning to do. Yes, look at it. They now they are on now on the same base. And in indices, once you have it, once two of your numbers or the two numbers question are in the same base, all you need to do is to equate their powers. So that means that two is equal to x, or you say that your x is equal to two. Okay, we have solved and we have gotten the first value of our words of our x. Now, case two. Case two. For case two, we have that d is equal to 31 minus 8 root 15, right? So, for case two, we have that d is equal to 31 minus 8 root 15. 
Okay, just like we did here, since D is also equal to this, we are going to equate this to this, right? So we can now say that 31 minus 8 root 15 is equal to 4 plus root 15, 4 plus root 15, everything raised to the power of x. Okay, so what do we do? In this case now, remember that we have solved this. And after solving it, we got um, 4 plus root 15 squared. And we have this plus because we have plus here. Now we are going to solve the same thing except that this is minus. Now instead of going through the whole process, this same process now, we can pick this as our solution, but we are going to use negative here. Alright? So we are not going to have 4 minus root 15 all squared is equal to what? 4 plus root 15 to the power of x. Okay, but notice that they are not in the same base. This one is negative and this one is positive. If you have watched this video to this stage, then please, all I'm asking is that you click on that subscription button. Do you know why? Because if you don't, you may not be able to see my next videos. So I urge you to click that subscription button. So subscribe, then on your notification bell, so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And if you also have a better or a faster way of solving this, please don't hesitate to drop that in the comment section. I would so much appreciate that, okay? All right, so this is what we have. We have to clean this side of the board so that we can solve the remaining, we can get the remaining solution. Okay, let's go. Now, this is what we have. The problem here is what? That this is negative and this is positive. So how do we get this to be positive? Recall, recall that we said um, let 4 minus root 15 be equal to 1 over 4 plus root 15. It's not that we say let. We solved and we got this. Remember where we did that, okay? That means that I can replace this 4 minus root 15 with 1 over 4 plus root 15. That way, I will have 4 plus root 15 and 4 plus root 15. So I will now replace this with what? 1 over 4 plus root 15 raised to the power of 2. Since this one is also raised to the power of 2, I'm going to raise it to the power of 2 now. It's going to be equal to 4 plus root 15. 4 plus root 15. Everything raised to the power of x. Okay, now what do we do here? Remember that 1 over a, okay, is sensing as a to the power of minus 1. That means if I want to remove this 1 over, I'm going to introduce negative to the power of my denominator. So that is exactly what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to write this as 4 plus root 15 raised to the power of minus 2, okay, is equal to 4 plus root 15 raised to the power of x. <laughs> are you seeing anything yeah look at it we have the same base now so we can now equate the powers so we can say that our x is also equal to minus 2 therefore our x is equal to 2 and our x is also equal to minus 2 these are the two values of x thank you so much for watching and i wish to see you next time bye